Hi folks, in our previous video we covered the basics of uh, using FrameMaker, the just very ABCs of a workspace, how you can create your own web space, uh, workspace and save it. And I talked about pods, which are very important. Now in this video, uh, before taking a dive and uh, any deeper, I want to introduce the important concept of counters. But before then, let me explain why we need auto numbers, auto numbering system. You can, of course, uh, number things manually. Let's say one introduction to videos, and you can say two and you can give individual numbers but uh, what happens for example when you introduce a new topic new topic right and this is gonna be like a heading one right now of course this has to be number three and this clashes with the existing number three now you have to change it to four right and just imagine you have like a two, three, four hundred page document with one hundred uh, such heading one topics. And you are adding and uh, deleting headings and sections. This means it's an incredible job, really madness of, you know, changing everything manually. It just doesn't make sense and you can't do it. That's why the long and short of it, uh, we need uh, order numbering so that such numbering will take place automatically and correctly. Now, uh, the important concept here is uh, counters and where this order numbering takes place. This is a heading one and let's open Let's open paragraphs and paragraph designer, right? For heading one, you see this numbering. There are all these different tabs. Now it says order number paragraphs. You select that and this is where the magic happens, format. Now, to go before going there, let me show you Two important concepts. One is auto numbering format or formula and counter. Now auto numbering can start, this is optional, uh, with a series label because you can have more than one auto numbering series going on at the same time and FrameMaker handles that very well. It's very robust. Next comes, again, optional text, like if you want the text like the word, chapter, or section appear before every auto number, then you have the counter, right? And the, the counter here uh, consists of two sections. One is the um, style, the numbering, auto numbering style, and the increment, which is again optional. And counter is always a typed in between two less than and greater than signs, sometimes also called left and right chevrons. Now, what is, what is N stands for? Let's look at it in more detail. Now the display style, if what we have is an N, the number will be a numeric, Arabic numeral, one, two, three, four, etc. But we can also use an R, which would mean lowercase Roman, uppercase R, uppercase Roman, one, two, three. We can use A, which would mean lowercase alphabetic, like ABC. And when we reach the end, it goes, jumps to double A, double B, etc. And capital A, uppercase, alphabetic. Now, um, 
We can also use building blocks uh, in our, let's remember, in our formula window right here. We can also use these building blocks, chap num, chapter number, volume number, section number, there's even a subsection number. Uh, these all will make sense when I start showing you uh, by examples uh, what we mean. Now the counterposition is very important in order numbering. So uh, regardless of the position though, N means insert a number the same as the number in this position in a previous paragraph. So this really keeps the number of the previous paragraph the same. I, I know it may look a little abstract and complicated, but it will all become very clear uh, in our next video. N plus, it increments the number by one. Which number is this? It's the number in this position in a previous paragraph. So if the previous paragraph is one, it becomes two, three, etc. Now, n equals one or any other number, it's fixed. It says display one for this number in this position for this paragraph, regardless of what the number was in a previous paragraph of the same position. Now, two chevrons less than greater than sign but this is very important there should be a space in between don't forget the space so th this keeps the same number in this position in the previous paragraph but we don't display the value it's like hidden but it still remembers it's it's persistent memory now again this there's a space here very important equals zero it means set to zero the number in this position in the previous paragraph, right? But do not display the zero. So we, we kind of set it up again to zero, but we don't show that it's zero. So uh, these are the basics to remember about uh, counters. Again, uh, this is the auto numbering formula that you can see in the paragraph designer for every heading. Now you can even have it for body text, you know. You can have it for any kind of a paragraph tag in your paragraph catalog. These are the check marks, the ones that you are using. And we have also mentioned the display style. You can choose one of the five and you can use building blocks. There's a long list, but these are the most frequently used uh, building blocks. And I have also explained the, uh, the meaning of different counters in any position, what they mean. So uh, with that, uh, in the next video, I will uh, present to you some real examples how to order number uh, different uh, paragraphs and headings. So I see you in the next video. Take good care.